Most people believe that technology can help developing communities, but it can also widen divides. I grew up in Sri Lanka, in a developing community, and then I came to the US for my higher education. So I've seen both of these worlds, and the potential that technology has to bridge them rather than divide them. This is why we started TechBridge World at Carnegie Mellon University, to work with developing communities and to build technology that can empower them to realize their vision of progress. When we're talking about development, we're not just talking about people having, you know, food, clothing and shelter. We're talking about a community being able to realize its goals and chart its future. In TechBridge World, everything we do starts at the grassroots. We first find a partner and work with them to understand the needs of their community. One example of our approach is our Braille Writing Tutor project. Since 2006, we have been working with partners in multiple countries to develop technology to teach visually impaired children to write Braille. With their guidance, our students have built a low-cost device with support for Braille in multiple languages and mathematics. These bridges that we build to developing communities also have life-changing impact on us and on our students. I really would like to see a world which, in which people participate on more equal footing. And so the experiences I've had in TechBridge World is going to be invaluable for me. People may not realize that the developing world is also full of creative and entrepreneurial minds. This is why what we do is so important, because we build bridges that bring together people from the developing world and the developed world to jointly create technology that improves our lives and our world. To hear more about our work and find out how to support our efforts, visit www.techbridgeworld.org.